Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to turn any object into this cool looking Plexus blockchain pattern using geometry nodes. So let's get started! Okay, so first of all we have to get some object to put this blockchain pattern on it. And this time we will delete uh, all the things we have in the scene and go to File, Import, FBX. So just quickly we'll take the file and uh, this is just basically a mixamo character that I will take the hand from. Okay, so we're gonna get the armature, go to pose mode and just quickly get the, the pose of the hand that we want and then we will go to, to just uh, cut the hand from the, the other part of the, of the character of the mesh. Okay, that's good for me. The next thing we're gonna do is to actually apply the modifier, the armature modifier. That's the modifier that makes the mesh deforming by, by the armature, but by what we do with armature. So just uh, click on the mesh and you can apply this modifier by a few ways. You can go to modifiers tab, click uh, on that arrow and then apply. You can also click this, this box and click Ctrl A. This will also applier the modifier, but I found a much better way, much quicker, and that's just basically by clicking Ctrl A on the object while uh, being on this uh, 3D viewport. And then Ctrl A and Visual Geometry to Mesh. That makes the, arm, the armature modifier applied. And uh, now we can't yet uh, get this because it's all the all with the with the head, with the other hand, and with uh, ankles. First of all, we wanna clear the parent with uh, with the armature because when we move the armature object, it follows the follows the mesh. So to do it, Alt P, clear, and keep transformation. Okay. Next thing, we wanna delete everything, but keep the keep the hand, and uh, we will cut it somewhere here. H, L to link to select uh, this part we wanna delete. Delete vertices. Here we are. Uh, set origin origin to geometry and Shift S uh, selection to, to cursor. So we have it in the middle of our world. Then period on the numpad to zoom in to the object and now we are going to make the make the magic. We will use uh, geometry nodes for, for this thing. Uh, so the process is, I think, much easier. And in my opinion, if you can do something with geometry nodes and you have time, of course, for it, then you should, you should try it for sure. So I'll just rotate it like this and we're going to geometry nodes. So let's uh, hide this area. And yeah, first of all, many plexus, uh, many plexus patterns are made with uh, triangles. So you can decide if you want to go with triangles or if you want to go with quads. I think we can go with triangles. So then we're gonna use decimate modifier and uh, play with the with the ratio. So you can make Z, then wireframe, and see what you do. And if you wanna default, we, you will have this. Uh, X-ray mode, you can turn it off here or by clicking Alt-Z shortcut. Something like this is okay. Apply this modifier. Okay, let's go. Uh, also, I will delete the material. So, the magic happens. Um, first of all, we want to make this uh, wireframe. So, we have this all the lines. Later, we will add the points and then we will um, add this uh, this base. So to make uh, it to wireframe, we have to make um, the mesh use mesh to curve modifier. Okay, so now we have uh, this mesh is turned to curves, curve to mesh, curve circle. Yeah, we're gonna go with zero zero five something like this. I think it should be okay. And yeah, that's much. That's too thin. So we're gonna delete one zero much better. I think we can do 0.9. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we have the, the wireframe and we're gonna add join geometry node because we'll, we, we will be doing the, this point and the, and the base. We can make it as frame. So here it is. 
just select all these nodes, click that, F2, yeah, wireframe. That's just for the for the sake of uh, of the organization, so it's not all the so it's not messy. Next, we're gonna go with points, and to do it, we're gonna use the node called instance on instance on points, and we will use this geometry. This will give us points, and uh, the instances goes to join geometry. We're gonna rewrote it by uh, shift shift right click. Now we have this uh, we have this node and we have to plug something to instance. So we're gonna go with an icosphere or UV sphere doesn't matter. So we have icospheres now, but it's way too big, like way 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 too big. So we have to play with the radius. And that's just up to you. What do you think will look great? Go f go with it. There is no like hard rule. You have to copy every number from me. At the end of the day, you are the one who who is creating the design. So never listen to to anyone with such a, with such a thing that are about just your preference. You know. Yeah, that's cool for me. And I will go with subdivision two and we'll shade it smooth. So set, shade, smooth. Yeah, awesome. And we wanna also add this, uh, this base and we can make this as uh, the next frame. So shift A, layout frame, select these two guys. Yeah, F2 and uh, points, cool. And the last thing is, of course, to put the base to the joint geometry. Cool. So that's basically how you do the how you do the the plexus, the plexus pattern. And I see that it's I think it's actually shaded smooth, so I can copy the set shade smooth and turn that off. Yeah, much better. Amazing. So we can go straight into materials. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna add the um, set material node. So I will have three things and I think I will go with uh, three different materials. But I will think about it later. Okay, so I will create just three materials. First, second, third. First will be base, second uh, points, and the third will be the wireframe. Okay, so let's go to shading tab. And now depends on uh, on which uh, which which rendering um, engine you will use. I'm gonna use Eevee because Eevee is uh, just faster. Yeah, I think I forgot. Yeah. So we have to set the material. And for the base, here is the base. So we're gonna use base material for wireframe, wireframe, and for points, points. So now we can go to shading material, yeah. So with wireframe, we're gonna go with basic emission shader, and I'm gonna go to strength of the world, uh, lightning to zero, so we can better see the, the emission. And yeah, plug emission to surface, and then play with the color. So for most blockchain, um, blockchain stuff, technology stuff, sci-fi style, uh, there is the blue that's the main color and uh, black for the for the background. So yeah, let's go with that. And important thing for for the EV is to turn on bloom, screen space reflections, and I'm in occlusion. Yeah, and if you turn crank the strength way more, you see that it's blooming. Really cool. But I'm gonna go with uh, just four. That will be fine. And uh, now we will go with to the points, also emission, also for me blue, maybe lighter and more that actually the same. And now we will have uh, some more fun with the base because I would like to make these, uh, make these faces appear and disappear in a random way. So here we have to turn on alpha blend in blend mode in materials panel because 
with opac opacu um, it won't be it, there won't be any transparency and we want to have transparency here so first of all i'm going to use uh, i'm going to add emission shader that we emission node and transparent bsdf node and mix shader so yeah this transparent bsdf node makes the makes the material transparent emission will be emitting some light and the shader and the mix shader is just combining these two and uh, when i add of course this will be blue as well and yeah this factor will control which faces um, which faces are uh, are visible and which are aren't visible and now i can just uh, you know have fun with this uh, when this one's slider, so at one it it uh, goes only for the bottom socket, which is transparent BSDF, and at zero it's emission. So I can leave it whatever. And now we're gonna use the geometry node. That's not geometry nodes. It's geometry node uh, for shading. We're gonna next go with noise texture. That will be. Um, giving the randomness of appearing and disappearing and we're gonna go with color ramp to control the um, Control the transparency of uh, of faces. So yeah We're gonna go with normal to vector factor to factor and color to factor And now like nothing happens. Yeah, we have to play with the color ramp color ramp is is crucial and as you see, some faces are disappearing like here and some, some are visible like, right, like here. And I figured out that you have to make these two guys really close together. We are almost done, but I would like to also show you one thing that is, uh, that is really good about actually texture nodes. You can enable 4D and then in the W uh, parameter, you can put hashtag frame and hit spacebar as you see it's animating but it's just way too way too fast so to slow it like in maths you can just uh, divide it by 100 still too fast so we're gonna go with 400 really cool yeah much better the process of applying this effect to other objects is pretty simple. Just let's add any mesh. I'll add cube, UV sphere and ICO sphere. And you just have to add a modifier geometry nodes, pick the nodes you created. In my case, it's, a, it's called plexus effect. And now just you can select these two objects, select uh, this with this one with plexus effect as the last one then control l copy modifiers that's how you do it pretty simple right so this will be it for this tutorial let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below feel free to let me know what tutorials you'd like to see in the future make sure to subscribe the channel for more blender tutorials and like the video to show some love thanks